All right. Then, as a recap, so we can get started here, um, our group of intrepid adventurers stumbled across the dead horse bodies on the road and was ambushed by a group of goblins. Followed the trail to their hideout, where they thought they could find the goblin, or excuse me, the uh, dwarf and his companion. Party's in the midst of clearing out the cave, and we have the party separated with Vana and Erudar on the east side, and the rest of the party on the west. Uh, it's still technically in combat, and I believe that brings us back to Ares. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to march my custom lineage ass up these stairs around to Yimak and then I'm going to bite his face actually not I'm going to bite his face but I don't want to kill him I want to knock him out um all right uh give me an attack roll please yep just loading the character sheet uh action with primal savagery it's 25 to hit yeah that hits and um damage and that is just enough so you'll sink your teeth into him doing the acid damage but it won't kill him it'll just mostly melt his face off and he will drop to your feet unconscious dude still unconscious I didn't realize that. <laughs> no he's still just prone uh, Gilder pumped like three hit points into him oh, thank shit. you um, his combat ended for our side Yeah, the so y'all will be done. Alright, can I tie him up as well then, just so that he's captured? Yeah, you could do that. Alright, easy. And then I'll just leave my turn then. Then that would bring us to Dune. Um, well, at this point, the enemies are... Well, the one enemy is captured, the others are dead. I get up, so... I'm no longer pro. Sure? Yes. <laughs> um. What the fuck is one move? It's 30 feet. Watch out um. for the ball bearings. Can I collect my ball bearings back? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. And remember to stand up, it takes half your movement speed. Yep. You'll only have 15 left. Okay, so I just move like here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that will end my turn. Which brings us to Eridar, who still has a goblin in each hand and a goblin that just swung and missed at your feet. Yeah. That's right, I was intimidating these guys to be my crew now, wasn't I? Oh, we should probably mention, um, for anybody who's watched the previous episode, we're missing a couple of people. Are we? Yeah. Um. Gren. Oh, yeah, where's Gren going? He, uh, he, Joe, Gren had to drop out, so he will not be joining us again. Oh, so he got crushed by the rubble on the wall there, I get it. And we... That Jace did not join us, so we don't know what's going on with that. He sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Just a he quick died. update for everybody. So, yeah, I think I'm still trying to intimidate these goblins, right, DM? Uh, if that's what you want to do on as your action. Still trying to enforce them to follow me after killing their bugbear leader. Alright, uh, give me an intimidation check. Okay. That's lovely. That's a three plus four, which is seven. Oh no, it's three plus five. It's an eight. Aha, even better. You get the most intimidating bell at the ball. Yeah. I'm well, pretty safe. They, they both uh, rolled worse than you did, so they are pissing their pants and urine is running down their legs, but the third one at your feet is not intimidated. 
Are the two pissing themselves? Are they now my peons or what? Uh, they are intimidated. They are not following you. But oh. you can at least uh, interrogate. They would be intimidated and probably be honest. Okay. Am I allowed to talk to them right now or? Yeah, you could ask a couple <clears throat> of questions. Okay. I forgot the other dude's name, but our, our contractor. What was his name again? Uh, the dwarf that it's actually paying you is Gundren Rockseeker. Okay, the dwarf. Oi, where's the dwarf? Uh, so, Goblin over here in your right hand would start squirming. Uh, he would tell you that the dwarf was <laughs> taken to their main hideout in Cragmaw Castle. Take me there. Things have a castle. It's probably a ruin, but yeah. Yeah, fair enough. It, it it takes many days to get there. I can't take you there now. You will lead the way. Understood. I, 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 I will take you. Just just let let me live. All right, I drop them both. Alright. Uh, those two will not take an action since they're intimidated, but dude at your feet is going to swing. Try it. Uh-oh. And that was a 16 to hit. And it misses. Then he swings his scimitar again and misses again, sending more sparks off of the ground at your feet. I just like free action kick him in the head. Not to do damage, but to like, I don't know, knock him over. <laughs> Stop it, fool. Uh, eh, roll me up. It'll be your reaction. Uh, but yeah, give me a strength check if you want to kick him. Cool, let's do that. That is a 14. Uh, then yeah, you will kick him in the chest and push him back five feet. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and that brings us to Gilder. Okay, so I am over here. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Well, yeah, I can get up there. Okay. I am going to come up over here see that he's taken care of and finally be able to see uh, Sildar here and is he tied up? Uh, Sildar is currently tied up and unconscious I am going to um, reach down and try and untie him and check to see if he needs any healing Okay, you'd be able to successfully untie him and see that he is pretty rough and currently unresponsive. Alright, I will use my lay on hands and pump a point in him to get him on his feet. And that'll be my turn. Alright, then you do see uh, Sildar's eyes kind of flutter open and it's like, what? what? Who, who are you? I am Gildar. You hired us to uh, assist in your in your uh, venture. Uh, 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 yes, uh, I vaguely remember that you were part of the party that Gundren hired. Was that right? That is correct, sir. We seem to uh, have run into some problems, and I'll point over to the goblin that is currently melting its face. Well, you know, its face is melting off. Yes, yes, I ran into the same problem as well. Uh, have you find, found Gundren? Well, I have not been able to check the rest of this cave. Because, as mentioned, we ran into some trouble. So, there may be some in here, may not. The rest of our party is on the other side, so we can rendezvous and collect information. Alright, then I, I will do what I can, but they've absconded with my equipment. Perhaps we can find it as we search. Then that'll 
be it for him. And then that brings us to Vana. Maybe. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to do something. Um, just so that way the only two goblins that are over here are influenced in some way. I'm gonna shoot the other one. Alright, that would be this one over here. Uh, give me an attack yeah. roll. 19. Uh, 19 will hit. 12 damage. And that'll kill him. I, I take it we're going through the neck again? Uh, sure. It, it's however you want to kill him. See, then just shoot him in the head. He doesn't He doesn't deserve the neck kill. Alright, then... Vana, you know, scampers around the back of the... Um, stalagmite over there and lines up a shot and just catches him right in between the eyes after Aerodark kicks him back and he stumbles and then just catches this arrow through his forehead and drops to the ground. Uh, then Vana, would you roll me a perception check real quick, please? 24. Okay, then you would notice the supplies lining the back wall and see a blue sigil uh, in the shape of a shield imprinted on all of the boxes. Does it look familiar? Not to like you, what I but... Know what it's no, but you do notice that uh, no, they are all of them emblazoned with this mark, kind of like it's a, a trademark, for lack of a better word. Uh, just a heads up, everybody. Um, we lost another player just now. He lost power. Yeah, I see. The electrical company rolled on that one. Yeah, uh, it's expected for... I think he's supposed to, he meant to put in a minimum of four hours. Yeah. So I think uh, Eridar will just be interrogating these uh, goblins to get information for us. Okay. That's how we'll kind of... Ah, right there it is. <laughs> yep, he just confirmed it. Minimum four hours. So just, Vana, that was for your personal knowledge. It may or may not pop up again in the future. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> and then since... Uh, Vana killed him, that was the last real enemy we had, so we can be out of combat for now. Oh, whoops. Okay. I'm gonna pick Yimak up then, and like, throw him over Sil uh, Gildir, and ask Gildir, like, do you know where the rest of them are? Yes, I do, and I will lead them back the way I came. I will Did you say that you, that you put... Right, Did I'll you say you uh, put the goblin on my back? Yeah, we should probably put the um, Sildar as well. I can help carry him. Uh, Sildar is awake and able to walk, so he's going to follow y'all. Okay. He's... And I'll okay. just lead them back over here, all around the familiar places. Okay. I'm just continuing following. Of course, keeping the sword out so I get my little halo of light. Um, I'm gonna update Vanna and Eridar that Yimak is the boss. And, and I will very un and I'll very unceremoniously just flop his ass on the ground. So yeah, we should probably interrogate him, see where we need to go. Um, I will say, since he's not. He's interrogating them still. I will tell everybody else that um, one of the goblins said that he would take us to their main lair where um, Gundren was took. To their castle. Yes. Yeah, to uh, yeah. kind of give you all the information since Eridar isn't here to uh, roleplay it. The goblins would tell you that 
yes, their main hideout is Cragmall Castle, about 20 miles roughly northeast of where you're currently at. Uh, and that the bugbear Clark received a messenger from the, the main leader, King Grohl, and told him to send the dwarf to Cragmall Castle along with his map. So that's all the information you'd get from the goblins. Oh. Do I know how far away it is? Uh, the goblins tell you roughly 20 miles northeast. Oh, we got uh, quite a journey ahead of us, so... I say we get back to the horses and... Uh, start heading on the way there. What do you guys say? <clears throat> Yeah, I agree with that. We should go get our money back. I mean, Gundren. <laughs> oh, um, before we go anywhere, did any would anybody else have just seen the the stuff over there? Because I'd kind of like to investigate it a little bit, see if there's anything I would want to take. Yeah, I was gonna ask to roll a perception check. Yeah, I'll roll one as well. Absolutely. 23. So I definitely know this as well. <laughs> 20. So yes, you all would notice the provisions tagged with the blue shield emblem uh, along all of the supplies there on the southern wall. Uh, with your rolls, you would also see that there is a treasure chest, we'll just say over here. Uh, would the blue shield mean anything to me? Uh, not to you, no. Okay. It just looks like a trademark or emblem marking the uh, supplies as belonging to a certain company. Ah, okay. Uh, can I try to pick lock the uh, treasure chest open if it's locked? Um, yeah, roll me an investigation check. And then get Your shot guidance. by darts. Well, if it's locked, um, wouldn't it be sleight of hand? No, you have to check it's locked. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Right, I'm gonna roll an investigation for all the sigils and stuff like that. Them boxes. So investigation. Uh, oh. Thirty twenty. Uh, the chest is unlocked, and inside you find six hundred copper, a hundred and ten <laughs> silver, two potions of healing and a small jade statue of a frog. Somebody do the math of how we can divide that up evenly. It's 60 silver and about 11 gold. So you can probably just keep it. Oh. I guess I put it in my shoulder bag then. Oh crap, I just realized something. I forgot to mention something kind of important with, with Gildar's look. He has three beads that is a constant thing in, a, in his armor and woven into his hair that is always three repeating colors. One's a metallic rusty one, one's a rather bright gold one, and one's a like luminescent neon green bead. If anybody knows about centaurs, you would know that this is basically how he declares which tribe he's from. Good to know. Yeah, I probably forgot to mention something about my character last time, was that he carries around a pet raven. Um, how much money was it again? 600 Eleven. copper, uh, 110 silver. 110 silver, okay. There we go. I rolled a nut one in investigating the boxes at the bottom corner, so I know nothing. <laughs> you would see that they are definitely some sort of supplies. <laughs> Alright, fine then, that's good. Oh, well, what about for Yimak? Let me roll an investigation. I want to see if he's got anything worthwhile. Uh, no need to roll, he ain't got shit on him. Oh, okay, cool. Um,. So the, the goblin said that the, is he still unconscious? No, uh, rolling. Hold on. Hey, uh, just a quick note to uh, Squishy. Uh, if you mind blinking out the map there for a little bit, um, 
I accident I was trying to move the uh, tab for uh, tracking um, of a shipment of mine, and it appeared on the map. <laughs> for shame, child. For shame. It, it's just just a quick blank. Just a quick blank. Uh, yes, Emac would wake up. But, but we know that the little goblins are going to take us. Yeah, little goblins will uh, guide you. Alright, I'm going to roll. Emac to... would provide the exact same information. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to roll. To, I'm going to primal savage your Emac and just kill him off because we don't need a goblin boss this week. We don't need him. Plus, it's, it will send a message to the other goblins what happens if they betray us. Oh. Alright, yeah, no need to roll, you can just go ahead and eat a space. Easy. We like it. I'm gonna start calling you Lunchables. I mean, Why? sure, for now. <laughs> Why? Because he eats everyone's face like they're snack packs. Yep. Fair enough. I have these teeth, I'm gonna use them. <laughs> Alright, uh... And then, since we're wrapping up in the cave and y'all are going to start heading back to the wagons and whatnot, go ahead and everybody add themselves 300 XP for completing this. Okay, um, and I'm switching back to our table. Hold on a sec, I thought that uh, we were set up for milestone, not experience. Uh, no, you should be on XP. Okay. Oh, I have to go to uh, manage character and level, so I keep forgetting how to do this. If you're on your character sheet, the easiest way I've found is just kicking or clicking that hammer and anvil. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, now let's manage HP. Manage XP. There it is. How much XP? Uh, 300. Should be enough to get y'all to level 2. And it does. So I just need to make myself a level two. All right. I think I got everything corrected on here. Wait, Vaughn, did you do it on the D and D Beyond Apple app website? On the website. Yeah, doing it on the app seems shocking. I yeah, thought they would have been done the same way. Yeah, I can't find the hammer and handle. I'll just look. I'll just go on the website with it. Which fighting style do I want? Uh, would it be a long rest or a short rest that we'll be having, if any at all? Uh, if y'all want to take a short rest now, you can. Uh, doing the math for the time, uh, it'd probably be. Uh, late evening, since y'all were about half or midday whenever you first got ambushed. So if you wanted to do a long rest here in the cave, it would be a safe location for you to take a long rest. But I would need watches. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you want to do a short rest? I mean, I didn't take any damage this fight. And I don't yeah, think... You're wanna... the only one that took damage. Oh, fuck. Uh, Dune and Aerodar both took damage. I mean, we could probably take a short rest while we're, like, fine in the cave, waiting for an hour and then doing the thing. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm um, just trying to make sure there's nothing else I need to do now that... I think the only thing I get is, uh... Cunning action. At level 2. Now, level 2 shouldn't be adding too terribly much for y'all. Mostly yeah. just HP. HP and cutting action for me. But if everybody wants to go ahead and take their short rest and then decide what you want to do uh, about getting back to the wagon. I get to pick a fighting style. I'm not sure which way to go. Oh, uh, short rest don't um, improve hit points. Or get back hit you points. have to you have to roll hit dice to do that oh, and have short okay. rest. Get some short rest. Just a one d eight. Yeah, roll one d eight and then add that back to your HP. Okay. Um, why did that not work? 
Well, I'm just rolling my own 1d8. Okay. So I'm back up to max health. Okay, and then, what do y'all do? Well, I thought was that we head back to the wagon and head to the castle. Yeah. It might be faster to use the wagon. I well, remember the wagon is pulled by oxen and it's ladled with uh, supplies going to Phandalin. So if y'all want to head straight to the castle, that's cool, but you'll be taking all that stuff with you. I mean, I'm fine either way. What do you guys think? Because I've hidden the cart, and like our DM says, he's not going to be that much of a jerk. <laughs> um, well, I think I had checked out for a sec. I've been looking at spells and stuff. We're heading uh, back to the thing. We're deciding what we're doing with the wagon, if we're taking it with us or leaving it here, yes? Yes. Is the town in the opposite direction from yeah, where we need to go? Say that again. I didn't hear. Is the castle in the opposite direction from town in relation to the cart? So would it would it take the, the goods from the cart closer to where it needs to end up if we took it with us? Or, we'd have to or would we have to double back to get the cart to go back into town? Because we can always just take the cart with us and leave it a few miles up the road, hidden... Go take care of business. Go back for the stuff with a slight, slightly shorter travel, and then finish the job. Or if it's not in the same direction, just leave it here and come back for it. So, looking at the map, uh, you all are—if you can see the map in the map screen, where. The main road down from Neverwinter, and then it turns into the dotted line heading towards Phandalin. Y'all are on that hex that first touches the dotted line, and the castle is to your northeast somewhere in the woods. So you could bring the wagon down the dotted line to where it turns south to head towards Phandalin, try and hide it there, and then make your way north. That's what y'all want to do. That's what I would probably recommend doing. Yeah, I'll because do that. Because otherwise we're just wasting time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Alright. I just heard a boo 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 What the heck happened? I turned off my stream. I forgot that I was still showing my stream lapse. Oh. Alright, then. You all don't find any or don't have any encounters coming down the road, but it is starting to get late. Because you all had to track back to the part to find it and get it out of the woods. So now it's about 10, or 9 p.m., excuse me. So it is getting late, and if you all want to either trek through the night to get towards Phandalin or set up shop uh, to rest. Uh, what was the option? Uh, are y'all making camp to rest through the night, or traveling through the night to get closer to Phantom? What do you guys think? We'll probably be ended up sleep deprived, and we'll have disadvantage. So, I think it'd be better if we set up camp. Yeah, it's probably be better to rest. Yeah, get some yeah, stuff back. All right, then if y'all are taking a long rest, I will need watches. I can take first watch. Yeah, I can do second. Those other two don't want to do, do watches? <laughs> oh, I can do the third watch, sorry. How many watches do we need total, honestly? Uh, they're two hour increments since the long rest is eight hours. So you all could break that up and do just four watches of two hours each, or if you each want to make sure you're on watch, break it up, but total of eight hours. I can take the last watch if we're gonna do two hours. I'm not that very not very perceptive, so. No. I'm very much more of a meat shield. All right, then, Dune. Since you are first up on watch, if you would give me a perception check. 
And that would be a 15. So, other than the breeze and occasional night creature, you hear nothing throughout the course of your watch. Okay. And then Ares, I believe you were next up. Wait, wait, are we yeah, ever uh, going to get sure, Ares? Sure. Are we ever going to get Ares fixed on the uh, owl bear? No, uh, at this point, it's just me. Yeah, okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> wait, is it, is it a perception check? Yes, sir. Sixteen. Same thing for you. There's nothing out of the ordinary uh, during your watch. Yeah, Van is up next. Very nice. Yeah, same thing. You all notice absolutely nothing. You can see God. Then Gilder, last up. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see anything. I told you, I'm not that perceptive. I am a meat wall. Don't worry, I'm rolling terrible. Uh, do you notice absolutely nothing? It is a very quiet night for everyone. <laughs> so as Gilder finishes up his watch, the uh, sun is just beginning to break over the horizon. So are y'all just getting back on the road to Fandolin and I can speedrun that, or what do y'all want to do? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. I'll just do the thing. Then speed running through it, traveling through a nice uh, hilly countryside, rolling plains, short grass, beautiful day. You all deposit the uh, wagon and oxen just outside of uh, the split on the road. The Tribor leads into Fandolin, hide the uh, wagons there, and you begin your trek north. But now I will need to know actual marching order. I can go first. Gilder will probably be in the back, covering the rear. I'll probably be going second. I reckon men van are going on Gilder, because she's the ranger. I figured I'd just be somewhere in the middle and just try and run and not get trampled. You don't want to you don't want to ride the horsey. Disappointing. <laughs> but yeah, no big deal. So me first, I guess. Dune and Vanna second, third, and then Kyoto last. Yeah. No, right. Just doing a couple of rolls. Give me a second. Uh oh. <laughs> EB rolling, 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 rolling. All right, and Ari, since you are leading the party up front, if you would give me a, a perception check, please. Yes, sir. Ooh, 18. That was a uh, 18. Yep. Should have used guidance. Then you all march for a few hours northeast following the instructions of the goblin guide that you have and switching over to the map and as he leads you through uh -oh. and up and down hills you stumble across a massive ruin that the goblin he leads you to the tree line kind of points at it and says that that that's where the king told you to take or told us to take the dwarf he'll be in there somewhere but i i'm i'm not going any closer okay i will turn to him and tell him you can run along now little man you've done your job so and i guess they won't accept you back so be free uh, is it just me or off? Is it just me or are we uh, now missing three people on the thing? 
Yeah, I d didn't expect y'all to come straight here, so I don't have everyone added as yet. Oh. Hmm. Okay, guys. So, how do we want to do this? Um, I'm just letting our possible. I'm just letting our DM fix some things, but uh. Well, yeah, while he's fixing stuff, we can come up with a game plan. <laughs> well, I I I'm thinking of just peeking in by the door, seeing what's there, stealthily. Before we do, yeah, moving y'all back. That, maybe we should make sure that uh, that, that little goblin was intimidated enough to not made a shit ton of noise and let us know, or let them know we were here. Nah, then, he's... As soon as we let him go, he's just going. Yeah, he's fine. He's, you know, he watched me kill his leader and he's seen a lot of shit. Like, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, that that goblin didn't even come as close to what you all are now. He would not have made any noise to alert. He's a traitor. He was. He's fine. Okay, we got two question marks here. Um, which ones are the question marks for you, dude? Ares and Artisan. Well, Artisan's not here, so that's not too bad. And me being a question mark's a meme now, so. Wait, who are we? We're missing. Oh, there we go. Hey, that got fixed. Uh, I feel like. Okay, so we got everybody. Mostly. Yeah, well, well okay, we got everybody that's here. Um, I'm thinking of. If you guys don't mind, I want to stealth up to the door just to peek in to see what's in there before we come up with too much of a plan okay I will cast guidance on you and wait for you to come back okay so for stealth as a nat 20 giving me uh, where's stealth ah 28 <laughs> did did we get a long rest you're, you're definitely yeah, we did, uh Definitely stealthing. Yeah, even the party's like, where did he go? <laughs> so I'll just go up to here and just kind of peek around the door. Just to see what's in there. And yes, we got a long rest. Good, because I didn't want the rogue running in with three hit points. Oh, I, I leveled up, which brought me to nine, and then I took a short rest, and we had that long rest, which put me up to 15. Woo! Wait, isn't a long rest a full heal? What? Isn't long rest a full heal? Yeah, long rest is a full heal. But mm -hmm. I also had a short rest without knowing that we were going to get a long rest. Yeah, all good. Um, so wait, doing what you doing? Uh, I'm I'm peeking in. Uh, I want to see. Yeah, there you go. So peeking in through the doors. You would see a ruined hallway where the doors have just been kind of knocked to the ground. You can easily step over them, but it just looks like a ruined corridor. I will signal to the party, telling them that the coast is clear. You know, at least to the front entrance. Then I will stealth up there as well. And I will continue to... Hmm. I'm trying to see where else should I... What other corners can I peek around? Hmm. I mean, I could go right here and then try to... Peek around a little bit here and over here. Yeah, to do whatever you think Dune would do. Yeah, I'm doing what Dune would do, but he's also plotting. Wait, DM, is it light or dark? Like, is there lights in here, or...? Uh, there's no lights, but it is a ruined castle, so there's sunlight streaming in through, uh, broken holes. The windows are letting in sunlight as well. And I have dark vision. Actually, I think we all have dark vision, don't we? Not I. I, I, 
Ow. Oh no, okay, so half of us have dark vision. Oh yeah, I thought halflings did have dark vision. Luckily, I leveled up to level 2, so now I have access to magic. Oh. And the first thing I took was the spell light. <laughs> nope, no dark vision for me. Wait, just while we're outside still, DM, I'm gonna take my the clothing on my upper body off and then put my cloak back on. And then wrap it around me. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave like the my obviously I'm wearing the cloak, but everything else on my upper body I'm just gonna leave it like out here on the floor. Okay, so assuming these are probably going to be stairs and a wall. I'm going to go right here and try to peer down here. Oh shit. So you walk in and see a number of doors. Oh, are Two these doors, doors? To your north? Yes, those are doors. Oh, okay. Two doors over here. And then two doors to your south. And there's rubble strewing the floor down here, but you can't quite tell where it leads us yet. Oh, I'll tell the party to get the coast is clear to come in. And ask, which door do you want to take first? And be very Uh, Gilder. Yes. Oh, where, where's everybody standing? Um, uh, right about there, I think. A bit central to the... Two doors. Nothing. Well, the, the um, doors. We should probably start below us and just kind of work our way around and like clear out this whole place. All right. I want. I want treasure. <laughs> I was hoping to find a person that hired us. Uh, can Dune peek past the door below him? Uh, the one to the south? Yes. I'm assuming they probably lead to the same room, but you never know. Castles are weird. You're just trying to peek through the door. Did I understand that correctly? Yes. Uh, then roll me another stealth check since you're trying to slowly open the door. Guidance, guidance, guidance. That is another nat 20. Okay, fine. Very nice. What what's going on with the the size thing? It's saying every square is twenty foot. That's weird. Second now, it should be fixed. Fixed, fixed. All right. So Dune got a nap twenty. DM. Yep, he did. So as you slowly open this door. You're able to tell that it's a bunking area with three goblins currently lounging on their bunks. Hmm, should I go assassin? Oh wait, DM, just so quickly, I'm gonna be over here, but like just kind of because my passive perception is high, I'm just gonna kind of be like listening out and stuff just to see if anything like comes. Okay. Okay. Is there a way I can take? Like a dagger. And, you know, still thin there, because I'm assuming they're asleep. But still thin there, and then take them out in their sleep. One they're one. not asleep, they're just lounging. Damn it! Hey, before we do anything, can I try and speak in the other one? That door to... That west. Dune's left. Uh, talking about the one Dune's next to here? Yep. Remember, you can right-click and... Right. Yeah, if you want to roll a stealth check and try and stealthily open the door as well. Don't fumble, don't fumble. Oh, why? Seven. Seven. I'm glad that was a seven, because it looked seven. like a one to me. A seven. Okay. One second. Oh, that's a stealth. By the way, we're getting Echo on, uh... Brana be sneaky. 
upon hearing the almost definitely hearing the door, I'm gonna back away a bit. And just still keep an ear out. Yeah, as she opens the door, it gets kind of stuck and kind of thuds open, and two goblin sentries turn around to look at her, and I will now need everyone to roll initiative, please. Ah, damn. Oh, that's a... Uh, eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Hold on, this encounter is coming me out. Two seconds, this encounter is giving me some issues getting y'all added in here. Alright, apologize about that. What was everyone's um, initiative again? I got an eight. Vana got a fourteen, I believe, and Dreamcast got a thirteen. That Other way around. Reversed. Okay, then Vaughn is 13 and Guild is 14 and I got 16. Alright, then that means uh, Ares, you start our combat. Okay. Um, can I see anything from where I am? Or do I just like hear anything or... Uh, since Dune was able to open the door, you would have eyes on this one, the further south. But that would be the only one you could see from your vantage. Yeah, but they don't look alert, right? Uh, the three in this room know they would have heard that loud bang from the door, but they're just now starting to react, kind of like, what was that? Okay, let's see how far I am. Ooh, okay, good stuff. Um, Alright, I guess I will move here because smart. I didn't see the other two and I thought there was just one of them. And then I, I, I guess I'm going to turn to the one next to me after seeing all these other ones and just take a chomp out of his face. Alright, roll me an attack roll. That's a 25 to hit. Alright, roll me damage. Nine. Uh, nine will be enough to melt his face and kill him. Good stuff. I mean, so I only get attacked by two. <laughs> and just to be sure, it was this one, correct? Yep. And yeah, that, that will end my turn. And then, uh, Gildir? Well, so I can see there, and I know that she was able to, uh, open the door and alert those things. Yeah, so from these two, you would have heard, like, a hot as they turn around to their door being thrown open. Right, and 15. I'm going to move myself out front so the two squishy people are behind me. And, uh, let's, let's go for a whack at this guy here. All right. That is 18 to hit. 18 will hit. My first hit of the game. Uh, How much did you move? 13. Uh, 15 feet. Oh, disappointing. And it has to be in a straight line. And that is 14 slashing damage. Uh, 14 slashing damage will completely cleave that goblin in half. I just kind of like sweep out his leg and just crush his head underneath my hoof. Nice. Then. It's, yeah, a this very kind of... thick, it's a very thick sword, so it's, it does more crushing damage than slashing damage, but hey, mechanics. It's a, Man. It's a, it's a deadly terrarium. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have a uh, terrarium in your sword. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big moss sword that glows. Right, and then was there anything else on your turn? Nope, that's my stuff. 
Alright, then that brings us to Vanna. I would probably move in a little bit, you know, after cursing like a motherfucker. Um, and shoot at I probably wouldn't move in too far, so I'd probably shoot at this one. No, right. Give me uh, an attack roll, please. Nineteen. Nineteen will hit. Got eight damage. Eight damage will be enough to kill. I'd probably just shoot him in the head. All right, then. And that'll be it for me. All right. So he drops dead after you put one in his noggin. And that will then bring us to the goblins. Wait, oh, that, really? They they rolled higher than me. They they unfortunately rolled higher than you, yes. Damn it. Hello, is, are we all there? Oh. Yeah, I was cleaning up the encounter. Oh. So this goblin's going to swing at Gildir. And that is a 12 to hit. That's a miss. And the other goblin will swing at Ares, also with a 12 to hit. That's a miss. All right. Then that ends their turn and brings us to Dune. Okay, so because this guy is distracted attacking this guy, can I still get a sneak attack bonus with this guy? Yeah, I'd, I'd give you sneak attack since you uh, technically stealthed in. You'd still be stealthing, so. Okay, well, I, I sneak attack him with my rapier, but I have to roll the hit, right? Yes. Um, okay, do I need to add anything to that? Uh, did you roll on your character sheet? Uh, no, I didn't. I rolled an actual dice. I rolled a 17. Wait, what am I supposed to add to this? I mean, it says 17 is going to hit anyway. Just roll uh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just trying to remember what I need to add to it. If I it's do. proficiency plus modifier. Your dex modifier if it's... Oh, okay, so plus four, so that'd be a 21 to hit. Which definitely hits. Uh, so, damage. Okay, so 1d4 plus four plus a 1d6. Okay, so that'd be five um, plus four. That's nine plus four. That's thirteen. So yeah, he he gonna die as you poke a hole in his fucking liver. Goblin kebabs. He just looks down and sees that, like this rapier going through him. Like what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> falls over. Where'd this come from? It's like what the fuck? Oh. I'm dead. That wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> it, it's like that scene from uh, Robin Hood and Men in Tights, if you've seen that. Oh, that's not so bad. Turns around. I was wrong! Alright, which loops us back to oh. Aries. Okay, since everything's clear in here, I'm gonna walk around to here. And rather than bite this one's face off, I'm going to use Primal Savagery, to, but I'm going to try and rip his heart out with my claws. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Nice. Alright, give me a to hit. 20 to hit. Temple Kalima. That hits. Kalima. Yeah, I was about to say, Temple of Doom Munch? Nine damage. Nine damage will kill, so rip that dude's heart out. And then I'm going to chomp the heart. This wasn't the direction this character was meant to go, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, that that white <laughs> suit is going to turn red here pretty soon. 
No, no, no. And Goblin's blood is black, so he, oh, he's dying at black. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> the good thing about the cloak is it can I can make it look how I want. It's a magical item, so it's fine. Uh, Plus, I took all I took all my upper body clothes off, right? So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So Goblin blood's just running down your chest at this point. Yeah, we like it. We like it. Fucking metal. <laughs> So yeah, um, technically out of combat, just remember your initiative rolls. And what are y'all doing in this ruined ass castle? Um, I'm going um, to go. Can I just? I'm guess I'm gonna I'm gonna check the rooms if there's anything valuable, but I'm guessing there's absolutely nothing. I'm I'm just going to check what's beyond here, because it looks like there's a hallway. Actually, I probably should roll stealth again. Yeah, if you want to give me a perception, since you want to check out the hallway. I'm going to remove myself back towards the other doors, just in case. 18. So you would see that this rubble does lead into what appears to be another room. And from it, you hear sounds of what it seems to be chopping. Like, multiple knives just chop, 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 I, I looked at the party of this, you know, shh. You know, just giving that shushin finger thing. And I'm going to go continue looking. Uh, I should probably roll stealth, right? Because I'm trying to stealth through this. Okay, then yes, if you're stealthing in, please. Uh, I got a 21 looking for anything valuable. Yeah, I just uh, rolled a 13, giving me a total of a 21. Okay, uh, for Ares in this room, there's nothing valuable. It's very dirty. You can tell that this was mainly just a goblin sleeping quarters. There's rusted armor and uh, weapons scattered about, but nothing truly of value. Uh, cool. Yeah, then I'll just get behind Dune, or right here. And I'm going to close the door as well, so that we're just in here, like, and no one knows anything's happened. Okay. If they, if they were to stumble upon us. Then, Dune, as you look into the room... Wait one second here. You see a number of goblin cooks steadily working at preparing that night's meal. <clears throat> Dune's going to look behind him. He's like, um, which one of you is, did that ice magic from earlier? Because we kind of need that right now. <laughs> yeah, Leah, that, that would be me. Um... Yeah. I, I will let you go see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to come up behind him, I guess. I'm going to just read Thunderwave real quick. 15 foot cube. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, that's going to be a big button. Yeah, that's not the Thunderwave. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to go back to the party. And tell them that, I mean, I can probably cleave a good amount of them down, but I can't get them all. Wait, hold on. 15, oh, whoops. Measurements. I mean, if, if you guys want to send me in, I can do it, but. That's another 15 foot, oh, whoops. Yeah, you could probably get all but one. Yeah, all but one. We had DM, what's your rule in It's a five foot radius explosion. Uh, measuring. Ignore that giant fucking ice thing. I, I was about to. I was about to ask. Uh, <laughs> I know I asked uh, for ice shards, but. I didn't ask for Christmas. <laughs> So, just doing it 15 by 15, 
it looks like it would get all of the peons, but not the named. No, it's, it's only a five foot radius explosion. No, well, yeah, each creature um, within five feet. So if I aim at like this one, I'll get all of them, yeah? Are you talking about Thunder Wave or Ice Knife? Ice Knife. I don't want to. Oh, I thought we were talking Thunder Wave, Ice Knife. Yeah, no, Thunder Wave's just this this loud in it. Like if I, it's 300 feet. Like if I let Thunder Wave off, like the whole fucking world's going to know that we're here. Uh, then if we're talking ice knife trying to bag all of them, saying you shot this one just to do maximum damage. So I would say these two probably wouldn't be hit and he wouldn't be hit named. So you could roughly bag five if it hits. Uh, yeah, well, this I guess this is what they want me to do, so I'm going to march back up and I'm um, going to attack that one with Ice Knife. All right. Give me uh, an attack roll. Oh, nine. That's fine, though. All right, so that won't hit, but if I remember Ice Knife correctly, it still explodes even on a miss, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 2Ds are... 2d6 is only 4. Okay. So yeah, they'll all take... Uh, well, those 5 will take 4 damage as, you know, this bolt of ice just comes streaking into the room. So they're in the middle of chopping up, you know, whatever goblins eat this nasty, rotten food. But they're in the middle of preparations and they just hear this... <laughs> as ice explodes in their faces and sends them all reeling back. Um, They're all, ah, what the fuck? Okay, so... I'm guessing that, that, that doesn't count as combat, right? Because that was more like a surprise attack. Correct. That's good, okay. Um, so th yeah. this will begin a new round of combat. Uh, and you all, do you want to keep your initiative or do you want to roll new? I, I don't would, care either way. I would like to roll new. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I won't say, I mean, I was first. So, I mean, I, I won't say, yeah, he was last. I was first. I don't really care. Um, and I, I'm nice. So, Dune, roll me new initiative. If everybody else is happy with theirs, you can keep it. Or if you want to try and get better, you can. Uh, I got a 14 this time. I mean, yeah. That puts you in the same speed as me. What's your dex? Uh, my dex is 18. You would go first, because you're faster than I am. Yay! All right. So, uh, new combat. Ares kept his, so he will go first, followed by Dune, Gilder, and then Vanna. Okay, so then I will cast Guiding Bolt at the named, which is, oh, fuck my life. Oh, 14 to hit. That's not too bad. 14 will miss. Oh, rip. Okay. Uh, fair enough. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to run my horse back away. <laughs> because okay. I, I have not had good rolls in the past couple of turns. I'm just going to hide. I'm gonna, yeah, we, we've got a choke point. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I'm say. We've got a choke point. Not too many of them can fit through here, guys. Mm -hmm. We just wait here. Might be better. Oh, I got an idea. Hopefully it works this time. <laughs> in before Dune dies again. Yeah. <laughs> well, this time Dune is actually going to move. Uh, yeah. What was the turn order again? Uh, yeah, you're up. I'm up. It's Air, uh, Ares, Dune, Builder, then Vanna. Okay, so um, did I? Yeah, I'll uh throw a bunch of ball bearings around here. 
And I will then back my ass over here. Alright. Yeah, just about around here. Possibly. See how many falls over. Hoping that none of the chefs also carries crossbows. Mm. Yes, remember, ranged weapons are a thing. Yeah. Well, you're I know it says incapacitated, you. but just know that that's where the ball bearings are. You're, you're behind me at this point, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and does that wrap your turn up, dude? Yes. Alright, then Gilder. So the plan is to get them to come to us, yes? Yes. I'm, um, pretty, I'm pretty and... sure they're already coming. Yeah. And on top of that, maybe capture one and ask him some questions. Alright. In that case, I'll move up over here. And, uh... Basically do what I'm supposed to do and be a meat shield in front of everyone. And I'm going to hold my attack for the first goblin that comes my way. Alright. Alright. Then that would bring us to Vanna. Um, from where I am, could I see any of them, or is that bend enough that I will only see the other wall? Yeah, you would just be able to see the ruins and the detritus, the ruined walls, stone. You wouldn't be able to see any of the goblins as yet. Here, I feel like that's not very far. I would be able to see one of them. Yeah, you'd be able to see these two, but since you are shooting through, uh, you know, rubble and past Gilder, it would be at disadvantage. Well, I mean, at best I hit one, and at worst, maybe they'll come a little bit quicker. So I'm going to shoot, right. try and shoot at one of them. Alright. Give me a to hit. Ten. Ten will miss. So they just see an arrow come flying by, ricocheting off the walls as they're trying to pull the ice needles out of their flesh. And that's, that's mm -hmm. it for me. At least they're bleeding. Uh, the ball bearings are what, uh, 15 deck save, if I remember correctly? Uh, let me look it up. Uh, 10. Dexterity 10 saving throw. Thank you, sir. Holy fuck, and he fails. <laughs> So that goblin is now prone. Is he within attack range? Yeah, I would say for you, yeah, since it's snapping to center instead of from the edge. Alrighty, I'm going to roll with advantage because he's on the floor. Yes. It is a 23 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> And I'm just going to drive the sword down into his chest for 13 damage. <laughs> and he is dead. Finally, my traps work in our favor. I'm just going to do one mass dex roll, so give me one second. So, he would make it through... He's going to fall, and the rest just kind of stack up. Uh, so, Gilder, you are getting one attack since you're standing right there. Too bad we don't have With a fireball. A 15 to hit. That's a miss. All right, so this goblin skitters to a stop, trying to draw his sword and swings, but bounces his blade off the wall. The Black Gates. And that would bring us back to Ares. 
there's no way I can get line of sight on that boss, is there? No. Not from the room y'all are in. And all the bodies starting to stack up to block your view. Then... Okay, so I'm going to run up next to Gilda and the f- whoever's first is getting their throat ripped out as far as I'm concerned. Alright, that would be the one closest to you. That's an 18 so, to hit. That will hit. And that's 9 damage. And 9 damage will kill him. Okay, and... Because there's a bunch of them, I am going to bonus action. I'm going to basically flick my cloak on the floor and bonus action starry form archer, which sheds bright light in the 10 feet and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Then I can bonus action attack with a 14 to hit on not the one that's prone, but the one behind him. Yeah, yeah, All that right. guy. Uh, well, the, this dude isn't prone any... Oh, yes, he is. My bad. He fell. I didn't mark it. So, yeah, he'll be hitting this guy. Um, yeah, you said 14. it was a 14? Yep. Is a 14 hit? 14 will miss. Damn it. Okay. And then I guess that was my turn. And I just... Yeah, you can just see, like, constellations all over my body, like my form is obviously emitting bright light. Um, And, yeah, there's just, like, a bunch of what looks like stars all, like, dotted across my body. Yeah, that went my turn. All right. And that brings us to Dune. Okay, so I'm thinking about pulling my short bow out of my uh, bag and... Firing off the, this guy, would that be possible if I stood right here? Yes, it would, if you're trying to hit him. Okay, well, it's my short bow. Um... Right. Are you going after the guy that's on the ground? Uh, no, the one behind him. Gotcha. Okay. So, that's a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. Okay, so 1d6 plus 4. That's 8. And 8 will kill him. Woo! Two kills. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna do a neck shot and try and steal Vanna's thunder? Uh no, I shot him in the heart. <laughs> because she was too late. <laughs> Giving love a bad name. I got it. I'm over here laughing. <laughs> yeah, we're the only ones laughing. These young <laughs> folks are not getting it. <laughs> uh, I have a funny story for after the stream regarding that song. Uh, but we are up to Gildir, yes. Uh, is he still, is Mr. Prone still within range? Mr. Prone would still be in range. Let's dispatch us another goblin, then. Let's do a hit. Yeah, and roll with advantage since he's laying down. He got the same roll twice. 14. Oh, damn. 14 will miss. Oh, shit. Uh, let me double C- check C- a couple things. You can I, on his turn, can I ask him to back up a little bit? Uh, yeah, that wouldn't take an action since it's just a couple words if you want to ask him to step aside. Yeah, yeah, just so that I can get eyes on other people. I'll shift back a little bit so you can get up there. Easy. And I don't think I have any really useful bonus action stuff that I can use right now, so that's my stuff. Alright. Then Vanna. 
I'm gonna try and climb up on Gildir's back, so that way I can just hold my action until I feel like I get a good shot at somebody. That isn't the guy laying on the floor. Okay. Um, if you're standing on his back, that would give you a vantage to see this guy, since you would have elevation. But the well, others, you wouldn't I... be able to see these. If I can, if I feel like I get a good shot at him, I'll try and shoot him. Yeah, this one would just be a, a regular, uh, just regular, no disadvantage. Thirty twenty. Say again. Thirty twenty. So I got oh, that, twelve that'll hit. plus eight. Uh, six damage. Uh, he's already taken damage from the ice knife, so that will kill him. Wait, then I will stay up here, and that's my turn. Okay. Then Mr. Prone's going to use half his movement to stand up. And take a swing at Ares. These will just kind of file in behind. Uh, 15 to hit on Ares. That misses. Ha -ha. Alright, so he swings wide, still slipping and sliding on all the ball bearings that are on the floor. This goblin pulls out his short bow and takes a shot at Vanna standing on the back of the centaur. Here's a question. Would her being on my back give her half cover or anything like that? Are if you, you want to be the half yeah. cover? Yeah. Are you, are you positioning yourself in to be her cover? I mean, I'm built to be a tank, so yeah. Uh, then yeah, I'll, I'll give her half cover. But You're almost dude, definitely about to get shot. The dude, no, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll just because he said that. It's a six, so the, the goblin's missing. Yeah, yeah. Gilder's uh, whole thing is he can heal and he can get in the way of things. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, that will be everybody's turn. Goblin boss is still just over here seeing if his boys can get it done, but... All he hears is the sound of slaughter. Just going to be a pile of corpses that we're going to have to burn. Happiness noises. <laughs> that brings us back to Ares. Okay, so this this one's upright, but this one's prone. No. Uh, prone guy stood up and took a swing at you, so he's standing up. He's still standing. Okay, so no one's prone. No um, one's prone. Before okay. someone takes a move, I'll just call out to the group, Get me a path! I want the one in the back. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to um, rip the one in front of me's throat out and kind of, like, discard his body, assuming I hit him. All right. Woo! Natural 20 for a 27. Definitely will hit. So yeah, rip that dude in half. What's some what's some damage? I don't think it's gonna Five. matter, but Five total? Five total. Is that five on the dice? Because crit is usually double damage. Oh it says crit five, so maybe it's ten. Yeah, three plus two, so I guess it doubles says ten. Yes. Damn. And then we will bonus action starry form archer. The guy behind him to, you know, give the guy a path. That's another natural 20. <laughs> we jeebus. All right. Uh, I missed it because I was uh, taking some notes. What what was the natural 20 on? Um, Starry form archer. Okay. Uh, with just... some damage, or is it a save? Just... Uh, nice damage. <laughs> um. 17 on crit. Go oh, at 5 plus 7 plus 5. But you double you double the dice, right? Not the overall damage. 
right? Well, it yes. all depends on the you DM. You doubled the amount of dice rolled, not the resulting number. Oh, okay, then yes. I think I misruled on that last one. But yeah, I just looked up the rules for crit. You double the amount of dice that you roll, not the number that pops up. Oh, okay. Well, 17. So I'm guessing this one's dead. Yes. I, I was expecting an AOE, so I was also trying to read up on starry form, but it's just single target? Yeah, yeah it's basically okay. just a bolt of radiant energy. Um, so yeah, you just watch a bolt of radiant energy so shoot out my hand and like, shoot him in the eye and just come out the back of his skull. Nice. And then I'm going to turn to Gilder and be like, you've got your path. And then yeah, that ends my turn. And that would bring us to Dune. Um, I'm going to also take a shot at this guy right here. Um, going to roll the hit. Does a dirty 20 hit? Dirty 20 will hit. All right. He needs a 32 hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you never know. Maybe that one's just got a little bit of a special armor on him or something. Or some other bullshit. <laughs> you never know. That one has like a plus 10 cloak of protection. Uh, That'd be a total of 6 damage. Y'all are dropping them. Like um, flies. Can I, can I use cunning action? Oh wait, no. Cunning action is to dash or move. Okay, never mind. Um, that, would, that would end my turn. Alright, then that would bring us to Gildir. I'm just gonna look over my look shoulder over at the shoulder halfling in my back and say, hold on tight. Hold on. And I am going to run all the way up here. And I'm gonna attack the big guy with a charge. Alright, uh, I hate to do this to you, but since you Strength did deck. run across the... Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you gotta get better than a 10 on the, that deck save. How about a 16? All right, you're still standing. Yep. I wouldn't have done it if I, if I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> and I'm going to smack him with my sword for a 20, a, a, a dirty 20 to hit. Uh, on him, that will hit. I really wish you fell over and just like said you and Vanna tumbled into the floor. It would have been oh, wait, that's not that would have been really funny. <laughs> That is nine slashing damage, and with my charge, I'm going to hit him with a hoof for a ten to hit. I'm pretty sure that misses, don't it? Yes, the hoof would miss. All right, that is everything I got. I just run up to him, hack through him, and go to kick him, and he just ducks just in time. Move out the way. Then, yeah, you definitely put a good slash across his chest with your sword, and he is hurt, but definitely still standing. Move to the side. And then that would bring us to Vanna. For Decker. Um, I'm going to hop off of his back and move this way just a little bit, so I'm a little bit, I'm right in the middle. Right. Um, and I'm gonna shoot at the one just inside the door, so that way everybody else can kind of come over here. Okay. Uh, 17? 17 will hit. 6 damage. 6 damage. He drops to one knee, but he is still breathing haggard breaths with this arrow lodged just below his throat. This is why I gotta keep up practicing. I'm starting to miss in the neck. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Alright, so that brings us to the goblins. So he kind of just cowers in the corner in fear. But Yeg, our good old boss man, is going to swing at Gildir. 
Uh, he makes two attacks with his scimitar. Bring it. Uh, first one is a nat 20. Well, that's definitely going to hit. Oof. Oh, fuck. He, he rolls a three for damage on that one. Even after doubling dice, we got a three. All right. Uh, second attack is a six to hit. That will definitely miss. All right. So, yeah, he uh, bites into your armor with a good solid smack, but his rusty ass scimitar just can't do any real damage and then swings ah, for that second pick. time. Uh, but that would loop us back around to Ares. Um. Okay, can I move here and avoid the roll? Because even if I fall over, I can just get back up. Or can I? Or can I see him from here? Uh, see who the boss man or dude yeah. hiding in the corner? Yeah, good boss man. Uh, yeah, you'd you'd be able to see boss man from there. Okay, so I'm gonna guide and bolt at boss man, and I miss. And then I got an eleven. Yeah. So we'll then with, and then I'm gonna bonus and then I'm gonna shoot another bolt of radiant energy at him with starry form for a twenty one to hit. That will hit. And that's gonna be nine damage. And I wanna shoot him in the neck, and then I'm just gonna look at Vanna and be like, That's how you do it. Uh so yeah, it hits and your uh starry bolt just burns his throat and singes the flesh and you hear him start gasping for breath as he drops to his knees but he is still breathing yeah that ends my turn oh wait no i'm gonna move out the wave just in case the um, dune wants to get by but yeah that ends my turn all right then that would bring us to dune um oh, i was thinking about cleaning up my mess here but uh, I'll try to get through. I'll have to roll a desk save, but come here. Since you dropped him down, I would be willing to let you use your bonus action to try and sweep him out of the way so you don't have to make the deck save just in case and still get to use your action. Okay. But it would use your bonus action. Okay, yeah, and I haven't been using my bonus action. Um, okay. Then, yeah, it would just be invalid for this round, but, yeah, you're okay. good. Okay, I'll come up to him. Um, I, I'm going to assume it's not a sneak attack at this point, because he knows I'm there. Um, Correct. I'm just going to take a rapier to his neck. 30 uh, 20. Okay, so you are attacking him. You weren't just putting the sword to his throat. No. Okay, okay. Uh, dirty 20 hits. What's the damage? Um, it is... Anything a... is going to kill him, so... Oh, uh, well... <laughs> that dude's at 1 HP with an arrow sticking out, you know, from his chest, neck area. Yeah, I just... He's on death's door. I, um, total of a 6. I rolled low. Yeah. I got it too, so that's good. He's at 1 HP. Yeah, you you would just put him out of his misery. And that would bring us back to Gilder if you're done, Dune. Yeah, I'm done. Alrighty, let's play our favorite game, Whack a Goblin. That is an 18 to hit. And as I'm bringing my sword down at the big old boss goblin, I want to twist my sword at the last second and just smack him with the side of it to do non-lethal non -lethal damage. I want to knock okay. his ass out. Alright. Uh, did you already roll it to hit? I didn't hear. Yeah, that was 18. Okay, 18 will hit. And that is 13 damage. Non-lethal? Uh, non then yeah, you definitely knock him out. Alright. Do I actually have a rope in my back? Yes, I'm going to pull out my hempen rope and just start tying them up. 
No, while no, no. everyone while everyone else is congregating. Oh DM, I forgot to get my rope back when I killed the previous yeah, when I killed Emac. Can we just say that I probably would have got it back considering I killed him? Uh yeah, that's fine. Easy. And then, and then we'll I'm... Pause, oh, go ahead real quick, Aries. I was just gonna ask Gildia why he knocked him out and didn't kill him. Uh, da, 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 do I have? Yes. Well, somebody's got to tell us where our quarry is. Hmm. Does he have anything cool on him? Uh, Yeg, he just looks like the castle chef. He is wearing dirty white rags, has this nasty chef's cap on that's stained with grease and soot and what looks like the blood of several different animals. But okay, um, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, just give everybody want to come back at 9.30 or here in 10 minutes, your local time. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, cool. Yep, that sounds good. All right, then... Combat's wrapped up. Y'all knocked out our, well, the uh, castle chef. And what are y'all doing? Knowing that I'm on a um, time crunch, I'm going to go back here to the other doors and I'm going to open. There's also the a door, door right here. West. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'd come where I came, right? Yeah. It's safe. That's what you usually do. And then, yeah, I'm going to open I'll fall this behind door him. stealthily. Okay. Well, I'll, I'm guessing they're going to interrogate the other guy. But I'm going to hunt for treasure and stuff. Okay. Uh, if y'all are trying to open the door stealthily, give me a stealth check, please. I'm going to guidance myself. Good, because that was only a 13. No, how do I... Ooh, plus four, so 17. Okay, so you would be able to open up the door stealthily. So what do I see? And inside, you find two more goblins watching out of the porthole or portcullis there. But not not doing a very good job. Okay. Um, Well, I'm going to let everyone else decide what they do, and then I'll take what I'll do. All right, what did you say? Well, because I've just opened the door, I'm going to yeah. let other people do stuff before I just hog the actions. <laughs> uh, I was thinking maybe you can take out one, I'll take out the other. Oh yeah, I was 100% about to rush in and just kill them, but I wanted to know what Gildare and Vanna were doing. Indeed, before we start combat up there, what are y'all uh, down here doing? Well, I'd probably drag the good old goblin back out here to the central place so we'd be closer to the exit. Give me good old macaroni to wake him up. Actually, and, uh, you could probably put him in the other sentry thing, because if he closed the door, if he's tied up, he can't go nowhere. True. Yeah, might be a good idea to bring him over here and just chuck him in there. And try to wake him up and... If I get him to wake him up, I'll have a question for him. Yeah, you attempt to try and wake him up, but he is still unresponsive. Well, in that case, I will uh, close the door and use a piece of the rubble. Does the door open towards me or or towards the end of the inside? Uh, it opens inward. I mean, he, he's unconscious. He can't open the door anyway. And tied up. Yeah, untied up. 
Seeing that he that uh, Ares has opened a door down there, I'd probably just close the door and head back up there to uh, be ready for the next bout of fun. Cause with this group, it's been nothing but crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna bonus action shoot the one that's more than five feet away from me with my star reform. Yep, that one. All right, go ahead and give me an attack. Oh, 13 to hit. Sad. That that will miss, so you'll just spark that off the wall right in front of him. All right, well, then I'm knowing that I missed him. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to go to the one that I didn't aim at, and then I'm just going to try and stick my claws and grab this one's heart out. Ooh. Natural 20 for 27. Then that definitely hits. I would... And like I said, I was going to get right behind him and try to take them out, so the one that he did miss. And that was a 13 damage on the one below me. Successfully ripped his heart out. He's dead. Um, can I use that to intimidate the other one into not fighting? Uh, give me an intimidation check. My plus one intimidation for a 14. I'm just going to say to him, don't move. And that is a whopping four, so yeah, he, he's intimidated. Okay. He sees you holding his friend's heart, probably still beating at this point. And, and I'm going to start eating it. Uh, yes, he, he is very intimidated. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just tie him up then. And then I'm going to say to Gil to put him with the other one. Are we just collecting goblins alive? Mm -mm. For now. So I'm, I'm just going to drag him down and say we did that. And then obviously I'm going to come back out of this room and I guess try it. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm going to hang back and let someone else do stuff. All right. So what do y'all do? I'm going to check this door. And I saw that right there. <laughs> um, do I roll stealth or perspection? All right, I can't say it. Well, it depends on what are you what are you wanting to do. I'm on a stealth check in there. Uh, See what's then in the room. You, yeah, if you want to try and stealthily open the door, uh, roll me a stealth check. But if you're trying to, you know, put your ear to the door and listen, that would be perception. Oh, so yeah, I'm trying to peek my head in there. All right, then, yeah, give me stealth. That would be 26. So, you do stealthily open the door. Jeez. And in your face, with weapons readied, are three bugbears. I rolled 20 strikes on it already! Because they heard the combat happening in the other room. Uh, can I shut the door? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you could slam the door shut real quick. Yeah, and just be like, okay, um, they know we're here. <laughs> uh, who's ready to take out some bug bears? Um, I'm just gonna tell him to open the door back up so we can, sh uh, we have a choke point. Okay, I kick the door open and I run back. Everybody roll me initiative, please. Move back. Uh, could I cast a spell before we do the initiative roll? Uh, what spell? Let's. Say that again? It, it cut bless. Out. Uh, yeah. Who you, uh, I'm casting cast bless. bless on myself, Dune, and Vana. You get a plus D4 to all attack rolls and saving throws. I see how it is. I'll remember. You already hit like a truck, my dude. I've, hit, I've managed to hit two people this whole game. 
Uh, by the way, I rolled, I rolled 23 for my initiative. I got 18. 18 as well, what's your dex? Plus 4, so I think my dex is 18. Yeah, you go first. I got a nat 20 plus 4, so 24. Oh, shit. Sweet Jeebus. These, these guys are going to be dead before they get turned. <laughs> So that would be I heard 24, two 18s, and what was Dunes? That was mine. Uh, 23, oh. sorry. It was 23. Oh, goody, I'm at the end again. So just to uh, make sure I got it right, 124, 123, two 18s. Yeah. Correct. If, yeah. And... Ares goes before me because he has a faster dex. You can you can go before me if you want. I don't mind. I already just single handedly destroyed a room, so I'll take it. All right, then uh, Vanna would go first. So I'm definitely gonna move back here because he closed that door, right? Uh, no, and then kicked it, it back open. Yeah, he opened it. <laughs> he opened it. Slapped it open it. so I can. <laughs> you can see them. You can see them. Yeah, if you're shooting through the door, yeah. you'd see the one in the middle. The two off okay. to the side Anybody... would be obscured. Are either of you two tall enough or bigger than me that I could hide behind you? Everybody yeah. is. Oh shit. Yeah, Dude, you're you're a halfling. I'm just gonna. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go back here, just a couple of steps behind everybody, and kind of peek out around Dune and take a shot at the middle one. All right. That yeah, Dune is ready to his bow. What did you, what did you say? Roll what for attack? You roll your normal attack roll, then roll an additional 1d4 and add that to your attack roll. Damage further than Well, I don't need it because I rolled a nat 20 plus 8. Go ahead. So, so uh, nat 20 obviously hits with some damage. Uh, it is 11. You gotta love a longbow. So, yeah, you see your arrow just pierce through the armor on its right side breast and you see the arrow digging deep and it would just howl out in pain and then just rips the arrow out of its chest and throws it on the ground as it uh, readies its weapon to start coming out of the door. And that would bring us to Dune. Uh, so the door being open, I am going to... Fire an arrow at this guy. Alright. Uh. Does a 16 hit? Uh. Mm. Did it say Seco? Yes, a 16 will hit. Okay, so it is a d6 plus 4. Max damage 10. Then yeah, you plug a arrow into its stomach, and much the same, it owls out in pain and then just kind of breaks the haft on this one, so it doesn't restrict its movement, still starts coming forward. Oh boy, um, I think that's all I can do, I don't want, I, do you guys want me to throw ball bearings again? No, I think it's okay. Yeah, nah, that, that's the only thing uh, I can think of doing. And you wonder why we always want to put you in the traps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh hush shit! How have I ever screwed us over? Well, you are the trap person, so I it makes sense. I make the traps, I don't set them off. Why not? Okay, do, do the bug bears go or do I go? Uh... Bugbears rolled a 22 for initiative, so yeah, it is their turn. Jesus Christ. I mean, that's yeah. sad. I had a combo attack going as well. 
I mean, that's not good. So one swinging at Gildir, one swinging at Ares. Ares has a uh, seventeen to hit. Yeah, that hits. Rip. And you take fifteen piercing damage as this morning star just bites down onto you. Oh shit! Are you still I'm alive? Up, but I'm, I'm rough. Ooh. Oh. The second bugbear attacking Gildir just rolled a net twenty. Oh shit! We're all gonna die. Yeah, we fucked up, guys. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be the smart idea to close the door, but you guys wanted me to leave it open and fire away in there. I was not expecting to just have three quarters of my health cleaved off. Yeah. And that's going to be a 14 on Gildir. As another morning star bites into your chest from the bugbear attacking you. Ow. And that will end the bugbear's turn, so it would be Ares. Oh, okay, okay. Um, shit. Do something weird, please! I can't even fucking move, because I'm probably gonna die from the attack of opportunity. Okay, um... Okay, well... I'm gonna move slightly over to this one, because... I know this one's injured, right? Yes. And then... <sighs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to... It's watching him bite in Guild or I'm gonna steal Guild here. I'm gonna say two can play at that game and I'm gonna try and bite his face off. Alright, Romeo to hit. I miss with a 10. Oh, uh, yeah, that misses. And then I'm just going to be like, whoop, I'm fucked. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. Uh, it hasn't been your 10 minutes yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to shoot at this one. Okay. Wait. Um, let me just get that up. I mean, that's a 13 to hit. That will miss. Yep. I'm pissed, and then I'm just gonna sit there after doing absolutely nothing, waiting my pending demise. All right. Was it A, B, or C that got shot earlier? It, B. It's Bravo, yeah. The one next to you. Yeah. Out. All right. Um, is that my turn then? Yes, sir. All righty. Uh. I'm gonna have to, um, because if I if I don't do something, I'm gonna die. So save the slot. I'm going to use lay on hands and give myself. Oh, these guys hit like a truck. I'm gonna drop all ten of my lay on hands into my. Eh. Yeah, screw it. If I if we die, we die. Drop all ten hit points into myself. Bring me up to 13. Good lord. Um, and the only bonus actions I have is that, and I don't want to use that right now. <sighs> I think I'm just going to sit there and... Actually, I'm going to... I know it's kind of just a five-foot area thing, but I'm going to... For flavor ways, flavor, I'm going to scoot a little bit further in front of Dune, so, you know, keep the focus on me rather than the squishy people in the back. And that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Alright, then that would loop us back around to Vanna. Kill them. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Actually, maybe I'll move over to the other side of Dune and at the one that I shot at before, so B. Okay. Uh, so 13 plus that 4. It's 1d4. Plus 1d4. Uh, okay. 
13, 16. 16 will hit. Let me up the check, because I, I did five damage. Five damage? Yeah. All right. Uh, it takes another arrow, this time in the leg, and again, howls in pain, and it is looking rough as you just see blood pouring from these copious wounds that y'all have plugged into it. But dude is still standing. Oh, boy. I'm assuming it's uh, my go? Yes, sir. If Van is done. I'm done. Okay. Um, hmm. Dune is going to take another shot at the... At Bravo. All right. That's a nat 20. Sweet. So that means double damage, right? Or uh, how do you, how do you we'll have a crit? Double the dice. Okay. So if it's with your bow and it's normally one d4, roll two d4. Oh, that's a fourteen damage. So with a final howl of pain that turns into a death rattle, he drops to the floor. Man, bugbears are no joke. Too bad we're missing ours. Yeah. Uh, that it for your turn? I think that's all I can do. So as Charlie, or C, moves up to Gilder, he looks at Dune, he's like, You killed my friend. I will kill you. Uh, technically, we all As he swings at Gildir to try and get him out of the way. Get their false I'm running. Oh god. Uh, that is a six to hit on Gildir. Oh, that's definitely a miss. That's parried into the ground. And a fourteen to hit on Ares. Thank God that misses. Wait, so Ooh. they both try and lay into you and y'all dance back out of the way, sending their morning stars swinging wide. And that would bring us uh to Ares. Well, I'm going to let out a roar because I'm in pain. And I'm... Oh, God, I'm too close to just shoot. Fuck it, I mean, I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. the one in front of me that did damage. I'm just going to primal savagery its face off with like, just a flurry of claws. And that is a 20 to hit. That will hit. With... Free damage. Amazing. So yeah, you and... claw and rake your claws across his face, just leaving these lacerations, but he just kind of laughs that off. And then I'm gonna still shoot him with an arrow, which I am guess is disadvantage because he's in front of me. Yeah. Uh, being that close. Hey. So, rip. Yeah, that and then that miss it. And then, yeah, I'm just going to look at him and be like, bring it on. Uh, which brings us to Gildir. Well, Ares, how, f how jacked up do you look? I am on 6 out of 21, so pretty far. All but right. I'm, st you know, I'm still good. Like, bear I mean, I say I'm still good. He did do 15 damage to me without a crit, but you know, I'm not terrible. <laughs> As I have one spell slot left, I can either. No, no, no. Save I it. We've we've got potions, and I can I can actually heal myself if I wanted to. Alrighty, in that case, let's go for the good old smack a hoe. <laughs> That is a dirty 20 to hit with my great sword. That will hit. And 10 damage. Yes. 
So he will howl, definitely howl in pain as this great sword bites into his arm. Uh, but he just, you know, pushes off with his shoulder and readies his own strike. That was at sea, by the way, considering. Yes, sir. And that is my turn. Then that brings us back around to Vanna. Okay, so I'm going to take another just from, where from where I'm standing, just take a shot at A. Okay. That's a dirty 20. Hit. That hits. 7 damage. So he howls in pain and much like his comrade just breaks off the half so it doesn't interfere with his movement and keeps uh, his eyes on Ares. Jeez. Then that brings us to Dune. Okay, um... Man, we really need to do something. Ah, uh, Which one looks more hurt? Uh, give me a medicine check. Uh... 16? Uh, with a 16, you would be able to tell that they both look equally haggard. Okay, so... Which one do I want to take a shot at? I'll take a shot at A, then. Uh, with yeah. my bow. That's a... Uh, yeah, 21. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, what you got for damage? Damage is going to be... Max damage, 10. Nice. And that was A, correct? That was A, yeah. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, he howls out in pain, and, you know, this one kind of bit in between his ribs, so, you know, you could tell that this one really, really hurt him, and he's breathing a lot more ragged now, but still standing. Do, is there bonus, any kind of bonus with max damage, or no? No. Okay, just want to make sure. Other than, uh, you get my congratulations. <laughs> I got lucky. I got two da max damage. Huh. Uh, then they're going to swing at their respective targets. Uh, 13 towards Gildir, which I believe misses. That it does. And a 19 on Ares. I'm almost definitely dead to roll damage. Uh, 11. Yeah, buddy, I'm down. Oof, okay. So as the bugbear just howls and brings his morning star down, you will see Ares crumple with the blow. Oh, boy. Rip. And that would bring us... To Gilder. Er, Wait, no, Ares. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make your saving throw, my bad. Um, what do I do? Just roll a, D, a D20? Yeah, one D20. 18, easy. Yep, save. First save. And then Gildir. Alrighty. Um... Is it safe to say that we've basically made ourselves known? Uh, this part of the castle would definitely be aware. Uh, rest of the castle doesn't seem to know that you're there yet. Well, I guess I'm not using that yet. Um... I've been making rolls, don't worry. Well, I have something that would add a little extra spice to my hit, but it's very loud. Gotta love that thunder strike. <laughs> uh, thunderous smite, actually. And it'd be very useful, because if I hit, they get to get pushed back, but that's a 300-foot radius of noise. I say fuck it, go ahead and use it, because we can actually kind of use... If we get... If well, we if, successfully... If, kill these two 
then we can hide around a corner and just kind of ambush. Or set up some sort of ambush. But we also don't know how many is in the building still. And I could, like, bring an entire horde down on us when we already have one down. And all but you two are messed up. Yeah. Yeah, but our tank is fucked. One of our healers is down. <laughs> Exactly, which is why I'm thinking no thunder smite. Smite. I think I'm just gonna go good old fashioned smack a hoe. Because if we don't get these guys down, death is inevitable. So gonna smack smack them with a big old sword with a sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. And 2d6 plus 3. Oh! That is 14 damage! Ooh. I am one point away from max damage on that hit. <laughs> he is very angry that the I bet. druid is down. So that strike definitely, definitely hurt him. He, you know, has this giant laceration streaking from one shoulder down to his hip that is just gushing blood it, you see the muscles rippling beneath the skin as it flays open and he just kind of holds his chest sh shut with one arm as he tries to swing at you again as I'm digging the blade through there I go someone get him up as I'm carving into the bugbear so that would bring us back to Vanna so seeing Harry's go down I would like, come over here and I am going to cast cure wounds ooh nice I, I didn't catch what uh, you were doing cast cure wounds oh okay am I yes I am uh, 11 points. And yeah, with 11 points of healing, Ares would have yeah, his course. eyes spring back open. And, and you would still be prone. Where I was. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, question... Can I help Ares get up from being prone? No, uh, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Just take your turn. Oh, I, I, I was about to also say, and take a shot at one of them. No, if you wanted to help him stand up, that would be your action, because you would actually have to step down and literally help lift him up, so you would be leaving yourself open. Okay. And in all honesty, the only downfall from him getting up is he loses half his movement speed, nothing else. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not moving nowhere, so... Um, then I'm going to attack at one of those two. I'm trying to remember which one took more damage. I'm assuming it's, uh, Charlie. Yeah, if you want to give me a medicine check real quick, uh, you can try and find out. what I get for not double-checking myself? Nineteen! Uh, 19, you would tell that uh, C is looking much, much worse. Okay, I'll take a shot at C. Uh, does it 18 hit? <laughs> 18 will hit. Okay. Then, uh, with the arrow, 8 damage. Almost max. So, Dune readies and fires off his bow, and the arrow flies through, sinking straight through this bugbear's heart, and he collapses in a pile at Gildur's feet. I'm sorry I'm taking the or last hooked. kills on these things. <laughs> hey, that's what rangers are for. I, I'm, I'm actually a rogue. a rogue. Yeah, I'm a rogue. <laughs> Well, when I say rangers, I mean anything that's in the back. 
Okay, uh, so any range <laughs> weapon user. Exactly. I'm the guys up front are mainly for you know making sure the squishy people that do lots of damage don't die. Or barbarians. So that does bring us to the bugbears, and he is still swinging at Aries, so I apologize. He's so good. Uh, swinging <laughs> with advantage. Could I, could I possibly try to use my reaction to draw his attention? Like, stomp my hooves and go, hey, over here! Uh, sure, I'll allow it. Um, if you want, I can roll an intimidation to see if I can get his attention. Yeah, that's what I was trying to see what would be the best roll for that if you're just trying to get his intention. Yeah, do do intimidation for me, trying to get his hostile right. action to come towards you. That is a 21. Fucking hell. Uh, then, hell yeah, you would distract him and he would swing towards you Wait, how much health are you on oof uh, with a 22 to hit <laughs> oh no yeah that hits <laughs> uh, with 12 points of damage that's lucky because that would have knocked me down again but I think you're on one health I am still alive. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so yeah, you just tank this Morning Star hit to your chest again, as this bugbear just looks at you with extreme hatred in his eyes. Uh, and that would bring us back to Ares. Okay, so I'm gonna move behind him. No, not that. I'm gonna get up and move behind him, so I'm flanking with Gilda if possible. Yeah, that's not more than half your movement, so that's good. Okay, and then while behind him, I'm just going to whisper in his ear, my turn, and then I'm going to cast Primal Savagery and try and stick my hand in his back and just like grip his heart and give a little squeeze with my claws. All right, give me a to hit. Twenty to hit. Where am definitely I hits with some damage. Oh, for fuck's sake, too. Well, you definitely hit, and as you try to go through his armor, it's a little bit tougher than what you thought it would be, and your claws just barely go through the armor and scrape his flesh. And then I'm just going to end my turn right there, because I lost my starry form. Alright, and that brings us to Gildir. These rolls tonight have been dog shit. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to squeeze my way over here, do my wall of flesh thing. Uh, what would be the best idea... Oh, because we're flanking, you get advantage, by the way. Yeah. I'm going to look back to... Yeah, I'm going to look back to, to Vana and and go, You got one more of those in me, in you? I want to finish this guy. Yep, I do. All right. And he's just going to... All is might go for another smack a hoe. All right, give me, give me it to hit. Oh no, that's an eight. Oh wait, I got. I haven't been doing my plus fours, so that's eight. Is that 12. eight with advantage? Oh no, not advantage. Yeah, yeah roll, roll again. Oh, that is a. Uh... 46? No, 47. Because I got my 4 from my less. 27 to hit. Uh, this that would hit. <laughs> Go figure. 
and that is nine slashing damage. Which is enough and drops this dude to the floor. I'm going to spit on him. <laughs> and uh, as soon as he as soon as he gets through with that cut and drop on the bugbear to the ground, Gilder just like collapses down on his knees and starts panting because he looks rough. All right. I think that is a good spot to call it for the night. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can I skin? Oh, no. Can you skin? Skin can what? I, I want to skin the bugbear because I want to wear it like a robe. Oh, God. And like a cloak. <laughs> Why? Because it knocked Why me not? down. Why not? It knocked me down and it's intimidating, right? It's it also needs psychopathic. To, it needs to learn. You don't knock me down. But it's dead. How Getting it, it I back think, up again? might take too much time because I, I'm fine with the idea of you skinning it, but that would take time. I mean, so... we probably want a short rest anyway, right? Probably. But, uh, not in here. Alright, oh. fine. I'll, I'll drag his... Can, can we drag his body with the other goblins then, and I'll skin it next time. Yeah, we're, just right, gonna I'm throw fine a, we're just gonna throw a bugbear in with an unconscious goblin and a tied up goblin. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. We're throwing three dead bugbears in there with <laughs> with a tied up goblin and a, another goblin, both of which are shitting themselves after we're done. This says Hitman just written everywhere. <laughs> No, but yeah, you know where we're at if they can only find one pile of bodies. <laughs> well, but, there's you know. also a giant ma a gigantic amount of dead bodies in the kitchen. Yeah, there there's bodies scattered all throughout here, all all over here. There's yeah, two two bodies in there with them already. So what's yeah, they... three more? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean there's actually no bodies where anyone can find because there's no <laughs> doors to the kitchen except here and here. So they actually like they actually don't know about all of these dead bodies because they're hidden. Or I'm hidden. not sure. We never went this way and get no, no, no but we'd be able to see it. See it. But we, no, I mean, we you were literally here. We'd see a door if it was there. Yeah, and that chef would have ran out through it. Yeah, yeah, he hid in the corner. Oh, there is a door. Oh, there is a door. Oh, what Rip. the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I apparently didn't do good enough with my revealing skills. But yeah, there was a door in the back. <laughs> I kind of sort of saw the shadowing, and I guess with how the stairs were sitting here, over this way, I figured that'd be a okay. hall there. Okay, then DM, just to say, I want to go and clean up all the bodies in this region, and I want to drag them with the kidnapped goblin and the one that's unconscious and just have a pile of dead bodies of like goblins and bugbears in the corner. With one bugbear off to the side that I'm going to skim. Where are the heroes? Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, just right. about to say. Note that down, because I basically, you know like Hercules where he wears the Nemean lion? I want that fucking bugbear. Let's just wait till we get our bugbear back. He'd be like, what the fuck are you wearing? Well, <laughs> he, he should have rolled up, innit? He shouldn't have waited with the cops. Where are the good guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that's so how we feel. I do about have it. our bugbear labeled for next time, so I don't forget if you really want to skin him. Well, to be fair, I am a druid, and I shouldn't waste kills. Right? It's an animal of nature. I'm going to use it for warmth. Are sentient creatures really considered animals? <laughs> I mean, I am. Uh, true, true. Skin me. Oh, uh, whoever labeled that skin me. I love it. Can you guys hear me? Oh, there I go. I am lighting up. That would be me. <laughs> skin me. Good shit. Like this. Every time I go down, I'm taking a trophy. I swear to God. 
yeah, I think this actually uh, turned out a lot better than initially anticipated. I did not expect oh, y'all to come here so soon. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to use my other thing for my... Make sure I'm not muted. No, I'm not. Okay, I wanted to use my other spell slot before we go just to cast her wounds on Gildir. Okay. Because he's at one. Yeah. Uh, really fucking hurt. Yeah, go ahead and heal him up. Then, can I, can, question. Dune found healing potions in the previous hideout. I did? Would we have you seen did. that? Oh. Uh, yeah, y'all were all in the room with him. Alright, I'm going to ask Dune for a healing potion because he found two. I know we've all yeah. got one, but oh, I'm we don't more than happy to know. give you one. Yeah, he yeah, probably. Cause... I thought he. I, I. I completely forgot. I got them. I would have handed them out to the party, to whoever wants one. Okay. Um. So what is a healing potion? Two uh... d four plus two. So then we roll two d fours. Oh shit! Seven. Nice. I just healed nine. Ooh, I'm basically topped off. I don't know how that happened, but some good rolls. I'll take it. <laughs> good rolls at the end are better than no good rolls. Yeah. And this is where we are then. So yeah, I'm still at full. Yep, now. I'm at 22. Oh. And uh, hopefully we will have our bugbear available for next time. Yeah, and maybe our wizard. Yeah, we, uh, we hopefully. came uh, Yeah. We came here early, and I'm guessing this wasn't scaled for four people, so we did good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I brought us back to the table, by the way. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in next week. We'll uh, continue storming down the castle, and hopefully our wizard and our bugbear will join us next time. But until then, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and visit some of the links down in the description that to everybody's social and live stream areas. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. And also a note Bye. for Squishy. You are allowed to Bye. put in your own comments through here. I just thought of that. Actually, I, I'll just message her. I like that name. Have her do her own narration. Yeah. This, <laughs> just if you want to this is like uh, this is like this can... idea of like her putting a picture on there and just leaving nice like silly jokes on there once in a while or something. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I'm in danger.